Hi everybody, this is Todd with the Forex Nitty Gritty Insiders daily video. Hope you're having a great day today. And things are going well with your trading and you're able to find some opportunities to trade using the simple trading method. Uh, the market's uh, back opened again for the second day. Uh, we're not seeing a whole lot of uh, real consistent movement, but uh, it is choppy and, uh, and moving around. Um, we're going to talk, <coughs> excuse me, today a little bit about one of the topics that uh, um, we address on occasion, and that is uh, trends and using moving averages to help us identify those trends. And we've talked in the past, and you know, you'll recall that uh, the first thing that we want to identify with the simple trading method, and really with any method, is being able to identify the trend that is occurring on the uh, currency pair that we're looking at at the time. And so um, we can do it in, in various different ways, and, and we're going to talk today about using it with moving averages. <coughs> now, a moving average is simply um, a line that represents the closing price of the last however many time periods that we're looking at uh, closing prices. So, you know, if we were to change this to a daily chart and we put a 10 period moving average on here, just a simple moving average, it would take the closing prices of the past 10 bars, add them together, and divide it by 10. And that gives us a simple moving average line. So, I'm going to put on here a moving average and we're going to keep it at 10 for right now. And you can see that this graphically represents the average price over those last 10 days. Now that's fine and dandy if, uh, if we could really get that to help us with what's going to happen in the next day or the next time period. Uh, we don't know for sure. What we do know is that Excuse me. With the simple trading method, or with the simple trading method and the simple moving average, uh, it can help us um, identify the momentum that's occurring. And once we identify the momentum that's occurring, we can identify where that momentum is headed, either up or down, and look to trade in that direction. Now, if we compare that to a little bit longer term moving average. So let's say that we put on here uh, the 40 period simple moving average and click OK. You can see a couple of things that occur. One is it gets a lot smoother than the shorter term one uh, and therefore gives us a little bit of a better idea of the long term directional bias that's going on here. Uh, and really what we're looking for is if the moving average is going up, the momentum is going up. If the moving average is going down, the momentum is going down. And with both of those, we can uh, it can help us identify where we are going to be placing our emphasis as far as buying or selling. Um, if the if the moving average is going down and prices below, we want to be shorting. If it's moving up and the price is above it, we want to be going long. Anything else, we're going to be very careful with uh, what we're seeing here. <coughs> All right, so that's a moving average. Now we can use different types of moving averages. So if I put on here a moving average, but I'm using an exponential moving average you can see that they look a little bit different. Similar, but different. And that is an important thing to uh, to recognize. Now, we sometimes get asked, well, which is the best moving average to use? Is it simple? Is it exponential? Well, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, what matters is that we're consistent with what we do use. So if you're using a exponential, stick with an exponential. If you're using a Simple, stick with a simple. And so um, <coughs> we can use this 
like I said, to help us identify the direction that things are going. Now, if we go down to a shorter time frame, you're going to find that um, you can still use that. Um, what happens if the market is not moving the way that we want it to or is choppy, we're going to find that the moving averages don't give us a whole lot of, of help. And uh, we want to use it to help us as much as possible. And so if, uh, if we can identify some good opportunities by using that, it'll help put us in the right direction with the simple trading method. So take some time to review that. Um, make sure you understand how to use the simple trading method um, and how you might incorporate the simple moving average into your trading. So with that, we'll wrap it up for today. Have a great uh, rest of the trading day, and we'll, we'll be back tomorrow and uh, talk more about the markets. Until then, have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.